Ever found yourself wide awake at 3 a.m., suddenly reliving that embarrassing moment from years ago? You remember every cringe-worthy detail like it was yesterday. But why? Why does your brain insist on storing and replaying these awkward memories? Well, science has some fascinating answers for us. When we experience an embarrassing moment, our body goes into survival mode. Think about it. Your heart races, your palms sweat, and your cheeks turn tomato red. This is your body's fight-or-flight response kicking in. It perceives the embarrassment as a threat, and while you're not in any physical danger, your brain doesn't see it that way. So what happens in your brain during these moments of intense humiliation? Well, an area called the amygdala lights up. The amygdala is like the emotional processing center of your brain. It plays a key role in forming and storing memories associated with emotional events. The stronger the emotion, the stronger the memory. And embarrassment, my friends, is a powerful emotion. Now, here's where things get really interesting. The amygdala works closely with another part of your brain, the hippocampus. The hippocampus is like the scribe of your brain. It takes notes and stores information, especially when it comes to emotionally charged events. When you're embarrassed, the amygdala sends a distress signal to the hippocampus. This signal is a big flashing neon sign saying, hey, this is important, write this down. So your hippocampus dutifully notes down every excruciating detail of your embarrassment. The color of your face, the sound of laughter, the feeling of wanting to disappear. It all gets filed away for future reference. And this, dear viewers, is why you remember every embarrassing moment. But here's a surprising twist. This whole mechanism isn't there to torture you. It's actually for your benefit. Your brain is trying to protect you from experiencing the same embarrassment in the future. It's like a survival instinct from our ancestors. Back in the day, social embarrassment could mean being ostracized from the group, which was a matter of life and death. Our brains still carry this instinct, even though the stakes aren't quite as high anymore. So the next time you're lying awake, cringing at memories from the past, remember this. Your brain is just doing its best to keep you safe and socially savvy. It's a beautifully complex system working to help you navigate through life. And here's a fun challenge for you. The next time an embarrassing memory pops up, instead of cringing, try saying, thank you brain for trying to protect me, but I've got this now. You might just find that it starts to lose its power over you. And that's it for today's brainy journey. If you found this video interesting, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And remember, our brain is a fascinating and complex organ, and the more we learn about it, the better we can understand ourselves. So stay curious, keep learning, and until next time, embrace those embarrassing moments.